Mosca. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here. It's going to be another one of these transfer rumors videos. Now these are going to be ones covering the weekend and what went down. A few of them we've already covered, but also at the same time there's a lot of new ones. There's about 23 to cover for today's episode, so if you can smash the like button. Also, go down in the comment section below and meet me down there. We'll have a little chat about what your club are interested in and have an all-around good time. But to start things off, we're going back to Newcastle and we're looking at Tim Krull. Basically, a lot of Newcastle players at this moment are getting linked with Crystal Palace for the reason being that Crystal Palace's manager, of course, is Alan Pardew, the ex-Newcastle manager. It happens a lot in football, but Tim Krull is a good goalkeeper, but I think if he left, Newcastle wouldn't be the end of the world for them because they've got Rob Elliott, who was in good form until he got injured, and Carl Darlow came from nowhere to be a pretty decent goalkeeper, in my opinion. But Tim Krull could be moving to Crystal Palace. He's linked. What do you guys make of that one? Moving over to the next one now, and this is just a random link. It's been it's been around for a while now, and it's Jack Wilshere, the manager. Manchester City. Manchester City with Pep Guardiola taking over. He's going to want some new signings. But is Jack Wilshere the type of player you want in your team? Injured a lot of the time. He's a very good player on his day, don't get me wrong. He's also in the England squad, which has confused a lot of people because he's knocked out a player in Dranny, D Dranny? Danny Drinkwater, who probably had, well, definitely had a better season than Jack Wilshere. So what do you guys make of that one? But to Manchester City, is he their type of player? He probably is. And the fact that you've got to buy some English players, it does make sense. But will he, jo will he join us? There to be seen. We're going to go to the next one now, which is going to be this guy called Eric Bailey, I do believe. He's heavily linked with a move to Manchester United. He's a centre-back with high-low work rates on this game. Crazy work rates for a centre-back. Uh, he's got some good stats, though. And apparently he's a really good talent in real life. I don't know a lot about him, if I'm being honest. But he's linked with Manchester United, as is a lot of players at the moment. Again, new manager, you get linked with a lot of players. Moving to the next player, it's going to be Denis Suarez, who's heavily, heavily linked with a move back to Barcelona. I think he played for Barcelona in the past. I don't know if he's got one of their buyback clauses or whatever. But he was at Manchester City at one point. He's got a team of the season card at Villarreal. And it's a very nice card, actually. If it wasn't a left winger, if it was like a cam or something, it would be playable. But Manchester is still playable. But Barcelona always seem to buy back players. I don't know if they're going to buy him back and then loan him out again. I don't know what exactly is going to happen, but they're linked with buying him. And we'll see how that one progresses in the coming days. Next one is going to be Victor Wanyama. Now, this is kind of an iffy one. It's a both ways kind of one. Kante's might be leaving, basically. So they're going to replace him, apparently, according to some newspapers and whatever, with Wanyama, which, in my opinion, would be a great replacement. If they have to sell Kante, obviously, in an ideal world, you want to keep Kante. Um, but sometimes that isn't always possible, because if, it, you know, if he gets tempted by a big move, because he's linked with a lot of teams, uh, when, when Wanyama would be a very nice uh, replacement, if I'm being totally honest. Apologies about my voice, by the way. I feel like I've got a sore throat. I, my, I sound different to myself, so I don't know if I sound different in the video, but apologies if that's coming across any different. But Wanyama, what do you guys make of that one? Next one, bit of a weird one, Kodja from uh, Bristol City, I do believe, yep, in the championship, is linked with Derby. Derby again, new manager, linked with a lot of players, as you would expect. And Kodja had a really good season, actually. For a team which didn't do particularly well in the league, he scored a lot of goals, so fair play to him. He's also got a really nice FIFA card. If he had a better shooting, he's got high-low work rates, freestyle skill moves, and impressive, but it looks like a pretty decent card. Derby fans, what do you make of that one? Next one is going to be Berardi. Not the Leeds one, unfortunately. Oh, actually, fortunately, I should say. I don't want him leaving. Uh, it's the guy from Sassuolo, I do believe they're called, and he's linked with Juventus. He's always been linked with Juventus for a, a few years. Um, I'm pretty sure he played for Juventus at one point. So I don't know if it's like he signed for them or he's going back on loan. I do not know, but apparently Juventus are having him back. And, um, yeah, I think he's a good player. I don't know if he'll suit Juventus' style of play, but they've got Cardrado and all them. I don't think he'll get in their team, but he's a good young talent for sure. He's been around for a while, though. And um, what do you guys make of that one? Next one is going to be Amavi. Now, he's linked with a few teams. He's linked with Liverpool, uh, Nice, which is a team which uh, Ben Arthur currently plays for. And it's more likely he's going to go back to France, apparently. Unfortunate season for him. He started out quite well at Aston Villa, got injured, and then, of course, they've been relegated without him really having a say. Um, so it looks like he'll probably go back to France. Unfortunate, really, because I wanted to see how well he progressed in the Premier League. He did look like a good talent, but like again, Liverpool are interested slightly. But I think they're more likely to get someone like Hector, who's interested in them as well. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Next player's going to be Jack Grealish, another um, Aston Villa player. He has an Irish flag on game, but he's actually English. He's chosen to be English. He's linked with Stoke. Stoke City, apparently, according to Sky Transfer Mill, he's uh, linked with Stoke City because of the injury to Afalai. Or something along those lines. I don't know if he's actually injured. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I think Jack Grealish would be a good signing for them. He's young. If you can get him settled down, he'll probably be a good player. But he's one of them guys who wants to be a lad at the same time. He needs to kind of mature. And I think he'll be a very, very good talent in the future. But we'll go on to the next player now. It's going to be Mditti. And he's linked with Barcelona. 
Barcelona just sold Mark Bartra to uh, Dortmund, so it'd be you know, like for like replacement, you probably say a kind of backup defender, but until he's a very good defender, again, he's got a, he's got a team of the season card, which says it all really. You must have had a good season to get a team of the season card. So what do you guys make of that one? Barcelona interested in them tits, in them tits. Hopefully uh, they get him if they want him. But we're going to go move over to the next one, which is going to be a bit of a strange one, but kind of a one you would expect. It's Alvaro Arbeloa, linked with Newcastle. Obvious reason is that Rafa Benitez somehow is in charge of Newcastle. Crazy to stay on, in my opinion, but fair play to him. So a lot of coaches would have left and gone to a probably a you know a, a team which had in the Premiership or in the top league. But Newcastle, you could almost say they're almost guaranteed to go straight back up. There's never any guarantee. They could have a bad season. You never know. But I feel as if they're, they're almost guaranteed to go straight back up personally. But Ar 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 Arvaro Arbeloa, link of a move to Newcastle. What do you guys make of that? Do you feel as if he's better than Yamma? I don't know. I haven't seen Arbeloa in a few years. I don't know if he's, uh, he's still 80 rated on FIFA. So he must be half decent in real life to get that rating. But what do you guys make of that one? Move over to the next one. And we're at Graham Dorrance. who's actually linked with uh, Aston Villa, I do believe it is. Um, he's a good player, Graham Dorans. Uh, he plays for Norwich, of course, who got relegated. He's got a good FIFA Ultimate Team card as a silver. I've used him in a few teams before to get some links. Uh, what do you guys make of that one? It's crazy transfer rumour. But we'll move over to the next one now, which is going to be Andros Townsend, another player who's linked with Crystal Palace. He's also linked with Sporting Lisbon. But I think you're more likely to go to Crystal Palace, if anywhere, being English and want to stay in the English League. Personally, I feel as if that will be the case. But again, he's another player who's linked with X. Newcastle manager um, Alan Pardew, but Alan Pardew didn't actually have Townsend. Townsend was a signing of um, Steve McLaren, unfortunately, for Newcastle fans. He's the worst manager in the world. But anyway, Andros Townsend had a really good season for Newcastle, even though they got relegated. He was a bright spark in your team, and um, what do you guys make of that? I somehow think they're going to keep hold of him. I don't know why, but I feel as if he'll stay there and have a phenomenal season and be like the best championship player by an absolute mile. Uh, but we're going to move on to the next player now, which is going to be another Newcastle player, which is Wijnaldum. He's in with a few teams, but notably... Um, Everton is the team which is currently linked with him. Apparently, this is according to Sky, if Ronald Koeman gets the Everton job, which is looking very likely at the moment. Apparently, they've agreed compensation at this moment in time. I don't know how much it will progress throughout the day, but I'm recording this at 1 p.m. on uh, Monday. So if I, if I upload it a bit later and something's happened in between, then apologies, but sometimes that happens. But Everton won't wish him. He's the type of player who started really well at Newcastle, then went, no, he just went to nothing, didn't he? He had a really poor end of season in, in particular. He's had a couple of goals goals for Netherlands in, in, the, in their friendly, so maybe that's put him in the shop window a little bit. But what do you guys make of that one? He's got a hero card for scoring in four goals against Norwich, of course. But we'll move over to the next player now, which is Yaya Torre. Yaya Torre has been leaving Manchester City pretty much all season, and he's linked with Inter Milan is the latest one to be linked with. I don't know if that's a good move for him or not. Um, I think, isn't Inter Milan goalkeeper, goalkeeper? Manager even Mancini, the ex-Man City manager. So that would make sense in that kind of aspect if he likes him. He knows how he plays. He knows how he manage. You know, it, it makes sense in that shape or form. But Yara Torre to Inter Milan. What do you guys make of that one? Let's move on to the next one now, which is Hector Bellerin. Linked with pretty much everybody. Barcelona. Um, Manchester City, I think Chelsea were in there for a second, but I don't think they're going to go for him. But Manchester City and Barcelona are probably the strongest link. I hope he stays at Arsenal. I like Arsenal, really good club, and I hope they have a good season. I hope they go on to win the league. I want Arsenal to win the league. I don't know why, but I just want them to win the league. If they get Jamie Vardy, then holy shit! But Bellerin, what do you guys make of that? Sometimes Barcelona can tempt, okay? It's pretty obvious that they've got the power to tempt the player away. And he's the type of player which they would, obviously with Danny Alves leaving... Um, maybe Hector Bellerin's the one to come in. What do you guys make of that one? Next player is going to be Kante. And like I said before, he's getting linked with a lot of teams. The most recent one is Chelsea, but he's also heavily linked with Paris Saint-Germain. I, I would say Paris Saint-Germain is likely, but I want him to stay at Leicester. I hate the fact that they're all their best players are getting linked away. It was obviously going to happen. I know they won the league, but there's still technically bigger clubs out there um, than Leicester City because obviously you don't expect them to win the league again. If they do, that'll be absolutely unreal. And it will go down in history forever. It already has gone down in history that they've won the league. But can they get a link with a move away? Like I said before, Wanyama would be his replacement potentially. Uh, Moving to the next player now, which is going to be Roger Nangolan. And he is linked with Chelsea. And apparently his agent has come out and said that Chelsea have actually come across as interest with, with his agent. So that would make sense that they're linked with him uh, for that reason. He's a really, really good FIFA card. He always has been. He's got the perfect rounded card 
And um, I think it'll be a good move if he goes to Chelsea. Love to see him in the Premier League, see what he does. And um, see if that one happens in the coming days. But the next one is Pijanic, another Roma player and get a link of a move away. And he's going to Barcelona, apparently. Uh, he's had a phenomenal season by the looks of things of his, his FIFA Ultimate Team card. I'm basing this all on Ultimate Team, by the way. I haven't watched a lot of these players play. I watch mainly Premier League, Championship, obviously being a Leeds fan, and other kind of leagues like that. But don't watch, like, the Serie A week in, week out. So I'd imagine he's had a great season with a 91-rated Ultimate Team card. But I imagine you guys can let me know in the comments section exactly how he's done. But Barcelona get a link of him. Would that be a good move for him? Let me know in the comment section below. Moving to the next player now, which is going to be Riyad Mahrez. Heavily linked, but moved to Arsenal, as well as his buddy Jamie Vardy. Now, what do you guys make of that? Would you think that would be a bit crazy that Arsenal go out and buy the two best Leicester players? Well, I say two best Leicester players. I think Kante could be in the top two. I don't know what you make of that. Who do you feel as if the best Leicester player was last season? Mahrez, Kante, Jamie Vardy, all equal for me. All have a phenomenal season. But if Arsenal buy Mahrez and Vardy, I, I don't know where they're going to fit in their team. They've got Sanchez, they've got Ozil, Giroud's looking like he's on form again. They've got, um, obviously, Welbeck, Walcott, Oxley chamberlain They've got so many attacking options, it's absolutely ridiculous. I've probably missed a few players out in there. But Riyad Mahrez to Arsenal. I hope it doesn't happen for Leicester's sake, but who knows? Transfer window's crazy. Next one is going to be a repeat of Jamie Vardy. Apparently, there's meant to be a decision made today, but there isn't going to be a decision made today, according to Sky Sports and Leicester City or something like that. Um, probably more likely looking into tomorrow now for the move for Jamie Vardy to see where he goes. I think he's been offered a new contract by Leicester. Obviously, offered a contract by Arsenal of some shape or form after triggering their release clause. Arsenal a bit trigger happy at the moment. Uh, what do you guys make of that? Still in the comment section below. Where do you think he'll end up? I've got a horrible feeling he's going to go to Arsenal. I say horrible feelings. I want Leicester to keep their best players, but it's just it's just the way it is in football. You just go to the bigger club. But the final player is going to be... Oh, see, there's one more after this. But Zlatan Ibrahimovic is apparently due to sign for Manchester United tomorrow, Tuesday. Is that going to happen finally? Um, it's a bit love-hate for me. I'd love to see him in the Premier League. I love him. It's a fantastic player. But Manchester United? No! Why? Why? Obviously, being a Leeds fan, that isn't the ideal move for me. But just to have Ibra in the Premier League, I think, is acceptable for me. But apparently, tomorrow is going to be all confirmed. We'll have to wait and see if that's exactly correct. But I think they want to get him in before the Euros, which is happening in like a couple of days, actually. We're nearly there now. Holy shit. But the final player is going to be the Leeds link of the week. Now, they're linked with kind of this guy, but it's a guy they're linked with who isn't on FIFA or my team. They're linked with Salvador Agra, according to Portuguese uh, websites and such. So not officially linked in any shape or form, like Leeds-wise. Like the contacts I know from Leeds haven't mentioned him at all. But it's probably bullshit. But he's got a team in the season card. It makes me happy to think about it. I would love to see him sign for Leeds purely for that fact. But the guy they're actually linked with is a guy called Ashley West... No, sorry. Ashley... Uh, oh, crap. I've got his name already. Ashley... Ashley Fletcher is the guy leads the link with. He's a Manchester United youngster, 20 years of age, was on loan at Barnsley last season, scored a couple of goals for them, but nothing too fantastic. Out of contract at Manchester United, they've offered him a new contract, but Leeds are interested. So there's your daily dose of Leeds news from me. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. A like would be absolutely fantastic. Meet me down in the comment section below. I'll see you in two. Have a good day. I'll catch you next time. And do bye-bye. Boo!